Welcome to today's introduction to the tank commander's position on the new T-72B3 model in Steel Beasts. This video will demonstrate the wide variety of tools modeled for this vehicle in Steel Beasts. As mentioned in our first video covering the gunner's position, this vehicle is an exciting addition that reflects modern upgrades to time-tested equipment literally being used on the battlefield at the time of this recording. This includes an improved periscope with infrared abilities and a thermal imaging system, as well as the AT-11. Press F7 to access the tank commander position. This will bring up the view in front of the T-72B3's TKN-3 periscope most of the time, unless the commander is unbuttoned. As a reminder, use B to button and unbutton the commander. Using Q and Z keys raises and lowers your position in the turret. F3 is the periscope view. The TKN-3 periscope is an improved model of that found on previous models of the T-72B3. At night, there is an infrared view available by pressing number pad plus. To designate targets to the gunner from this view, hold the target designation key, period, to override the gunner onto the target. The barrel will slew to the target under the crosshairs. The gunner will confirm if he has identified the target. Once the gunner has identified the target, use the space key to order him to fire or shift space to fire and adjust. To view the thermal imager as tank commander, press F2. If this is the first time you use this position in game, the periscope rotates out of the way, so there might be a slight delay. In the T-72B3, the tank commander override controls are a bit different than what you might be used to from similar vehicles in Steel Beasts. Rather than hold down an override key, Instead, you as tank commander will be using the ammunition selection controls on the TC override. For quicker access and to not have to look away from the thermal imager display, we recommend using the following keyboard shortcuts. Identified. Once you hit one of these commands, you can control the view using the keyboard and mouse shortcuts you are used to. Identified. Number pad asterisk and slash allow you to adjust the focus. You can turn the thermal imaging system on and off with number pad plus, and number pad minus changes polarity from black hot to white hot. N and shift N change the zoom level narrower or wider. Control ranges the target and creates a target lock in the underlying system. At this point, you can engage a target directly using space to fire and control to regenerate a target's range. Change magnification to break the lock. You can also do so by changing the ammo selection or polarity. When you are ready to give control back to the gunner, press Alt page down. If the target is locked, the gunner will stay locked on that target and depending on your fire control settings, will engage or wait for your orders to engage. Base key orders the gunner to fire, if he hasn't already. Note that the Cyrillic symbols used here are the same as shown in different gunner sites. To help remember this, we provide an English translation here. Press Alt F3 to access the heavy machine gun, which can only be fired from an unbuttoned and exposed position. The mount was built for fast traversing and elevation, ideal for engaging air and ground targets. Your default view is an iron sight, more appropriate if you are engaging ground targets. If the iron sight is used, you can set the range by scrolling the mouse wheel. As an alternative, use shift up to increase range and shift down to decrease it. You can switch to an anti-aircraft reflex sight by pressing R. Press R again if you need to switch back to iron sights. You can peek over the sights by pressing O or to lean into the sight by pressing N. Use the up and down arrow keys to change elevation. Press space to fire the machine gun.
you can reload from the menu at the top of the screen. Using the tools provided in today's video, the T-72B3 becomes a strong contender in the modern battlefield, and a fun vehicle to use in your Steel Beast single and multiplayer sessions. We hope you enjoyed this introduction to the T-72B3's commander position, and look forward to your comments and feedback on our forums at SteelBeast.com. You can experience the T-72B3 firsthand with the new version of Steel Beast Professional Personal Edition. Pre-order your license now in the eSIM Games web shop. Thank you.